Good morning, class. Today we're going to be working on a project uh, called a monochromatic pop art photo. And here's an example of a finished pop art monochromatic photo. We'll be taking a photograph of your choice, bringing it into Photoshop, and then uh, posterizing the photograph, and then filling in the values uh, with a value scale that you create with one color. They're hence monochromatic. Okay, so you come in here, and then we'll fill in all the sections, which I'll teach you to do. Okay, and then smooth them up, which really enhances the photo and makes it look more like a painting. Okay, let's get started. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you're going to be doing, obviously, is, let's see here, let's just kind of review. Uh, our objective is to create a five swatch value scale that includes tints and shades. Uh, you're going to figure out what photo you're going to use. And then you're going to have 11 by 17 dock, and you're going to bring in your photo, posterize the photo, and then you're going to match up your value scale. So the first thing we're going to do is just make your, your a simple, simple swatches. So I'm going to start out with my middle color, and that's going to be just my pure hue. So if I have green, I'll just edit. Let's get a new layer. Edit, fill. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to make two shades, and obviously a shade is the pure color plus black. So click onto your value scale, and then just I'm going to go midway down. Edit fill, and then again, go a little bit darker. Don't go too dark because then it just doesn't look that great. Edit fill. <clears throat> now, there we go, bingo. Now we're going to add our tints. So that's the pure hue plus white. And if you want to get back here to your pure color, just choose it. And then, of course, I'm going to head into the tints here. Edit fill. Okay, and then again, I'm going to make my light, super light tint here. Edit fill. Now, if you get to a point where you have six values, which you might, um, then you know really easily you can pop in a middle one or here pop in a top darker one. Okay, but most of you will have between four to five values that you're working with. So here we have our scale. I also made another one here. It's very similar. It's just a little different. Okay. Now I'm going to start off. Um, I'm going to say File, New, and go to Inches. So 8.5 by 11. Nope, sorry. 11 by 17. Most of you will do 11 by 17 unless your picture just doesn't look right. File, place, and I'm going to go in here. And now I would prefer that you choose a picture with just one um, person. I am actually going to be doing a picture with two people in it. Okay. So if you're feeling like, well, you know what, I got this, this is easy for me. The thing also about this project, it's critical that you zoom in. You want your picture, you want to be focused. We're focusing on the face um, or faces and not, let's see, how's that? That's good. Okay, there we go. All right, now we have to change it to grayscale. Oh, rasterize. And then just say don't flatten discard. Okay, so now it's in grayscale. Now we're going to posterize it. So you're going to say adjustments, posterize, and I would choose five, uh, try six. So that's one, two, three, four, five. There's six. Okay, let's see what five looks like. Five so-so. Try four. Hmm. Okay, so for this picture I like six. Say okay. All right. Okay. Now the th we're going to be creating it in color. So the best thing to do is 
come back here to your value skill, okay? Um, I would just make a new document, 11 by 17, okay? Grab your value skill. Remember, hold down the Alt, drag it up, drag it in, okay? Go to your picture, click down the Alt key, drag it up, and drag it in. Okay, kind of set it up how you want it. And then your scale, of course, put it wherever, wherever, whatever works for you. Okay. All right. All right. Now, let me zoom in. I'm going to show you how you can start kind of numbering everything. Okay. So we have, the first thing you have to identify, um, obviously, are your scales. So that's a match. Okay. So let me, I'm going to, for learning purposes here, Okay, so we have a, like, this is a, you can count this, but you know, don't necessarily have to. So we have a one, a two, two, three, four, and there's our five. Okay, so I'm going to use a five scale. So I'm not going to count that part right there. So we have a one, two, three, four, and then this black is the five. All right. So you're basically matching it up. So that's a one, two, three, four, five. Now here comes the fun part. <laughs> Grab the magic wand, holding down the shift key. Like I could select, that's a, oh, get on my photo. That might help. So there's a one. I usually put my tolerance around 32. Okay. There's a one. There are some ones, ones, ones. One. Nope. Is that a one? Yeah. One. That's a one. Okay, you start to see what I'm doing. One, one, one. My teeth are ones. Okay. There's a one. Okay. Then I'm going to choose my one and then edit. Fill. Voila. Control D. Okay, so this is the process. You go through your ones. Now let's say we're going to do some twos. And you're not going to get all of them at once. I mean, I kind of just work in sections and chunks. So there's my twos. Edit, fill. Okay, control D. So basically you're going to go through your whole entire project, filling it in. Now, one thing I will, I'll probably teach this separately, but once you're all, everything's said and done, you need to go through and smooth up your edges because otherwise it just looks terrible. So if you, you kind of just come through and we're going to clean up these rough edges with our smudge brush. And this gives it a much more finished look. And that, this definitely takes some time, okay? So we'll go through. All right, I'll add another lesson as we progress on kind of some fine details and cleaning, cleaning the project up. Okay, have a great time um, and enjoy creating a monochromatic, meaning one color, pop art photo.